everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the film Forgetting Sarah Marshall. The film is written by Jason Siegel. The film is directed by Nicholas Stoller, in which this is his directorial debut. And the film stars Jason Siegel, Kristen Bell, Mila Kunis, and Russell Brand. And what this film is about is that Sarah Marshall, played by Kristen Bell, breaks up with Peter, played by Jason Siegel. And so, you know, with Peter not handling the breakup very well, he decides to go off to Hawaii to enjoy his vacation, to escape from Sarah Marshall. But here comes the problem. Sarah Marshall is actually there with Russell Brand in Hawaii. Peter has to just figure out a way to move on from Sarah Marshall, but along the way, discover his new love. Now, before I do get to my review for Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I'm going to have my guest star, Adam Haskell, take the spotlight. So, Adam, take it away. Hey everyone on 22 Tire Do Channel, it is me, YouTube user Adam Haskell, and today I'm going to review Forgetting Sarah Marshall, uh, which came out back in 2008 for his Valentine's Day reviews. So yeah, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, like I said, came out back in 2008, and it stars Jason Siegel, Russell Brand, Christian Bell, Milo Kunis, Paul Rudd, Jonah Hill, so many people. There's so many comedians in this movie, so many great ones. And it's a movie I honestly wasn't looking that much forward to. Uh, like, I saw it for the first time last year, actually. And, uh... I saw like the previews for before I watched the movie. The previews didn't really impress me all that much. Uh, then actually, I watched the movie, and honestly, this is just a movie I instantly fell in love with. Everything about it, I just think it's just a funny movie, a very heartwarming movie. It has it just blends everything so perfect together. It's so clever, so funny. All the acting was good. There was not one single person in this movie that did bad. Everyone was good in this movie. Every single person was completely committed to their roles. It was just, it was just a great, funny movie. It's a really, like I said, it's a really heartfelt movie. You care about these characters. And it's just a really entertaining movie all around. It's a great, great rom-com. I absolutely adored this movie so, so much. Uh, I just, I loved everything about it. I just loved everything about it. And it has a great soundtrack, too. A really underrated soundtrack. A lot of people bring it up, but the soundtrack in this is amazing. There was a spinoff that came out after this called Get Him to the Greek, and I didn't like that one really at all. But this one I love. I love Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It's just a great movie. It's so funny. Jason Segel, you can tell there was a lot of passion put into this. Jason Segel put so much passion into his movies. And, yeah. It also has two wicked pot ladies in it. Mila Kunis and Christian Bell, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, I'm going to give this maybe my highest grade, which is a 5 out of 5. Some people might think that's too high, but honestly, this is one of my favorite rom-coms of all time, and definitely one of my favorite comedies in the 2000s decade. So yeah, anyway guys, that was my review for Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and yeah, see ya. Thank you so much, Adam, for reviewing Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I loved this movie, and I mean... I really love this movie. This has to be one of the best romantic comedies I've honestly ever seen in my life. This is from Nicholas Stoller. This was before he directed Neighbors and The Five-Year Engagement. This is before he directed all of those films. This is his directorial debut, and my goodness. This is honestly one of the best directorial debuts I've ever seen in my life, too, because, man, for this being Nicholas Stoller's first film to direct, he knocked it out of the park directing this film. And the film has an amazing script by Jason Siegel. Jason Siegel did a great job writing this film. The script is so clever. It's so well realized. The film has a perfect balance. Like, this film is a comedy but it's also a drama, and of course it has romance in there, because whenever this movie has a comedic moment going, it's honestly very funny. Whenever there's comedy and for Gainstar Marshall, I'm honestly laughing hard. Even the sex scenes in this film are hilarious. They're over the top, but they're just so funny. The dramatic moments are very great to me because they really flesh out the characters so well. It's just very interesting to see where this movie takes those characters. I love the character moments because they just feel so real and they feel so genuine. They don't feel forced or anything. Everyone does a fantastic job here. Even some of the parts that were very minor 
Whitner were very great too. Like Jonah Hill has a part here, and he was really great for the role he had. Paul Rudd has a small role here, and I really like seeing Paul Rudd for what he had. Bill Hader was also great here. His part isn't all that big or anything, but for the part that he has, he was definitely very funny and very entertaining. Jason Segel was absolutely fantastic in this movie. You could tell in his performance that he's very passionate and that he really wanted you to connect with this character and you do. He makes his character feel so real and so believable. You feel bad for his character Peter as he is trying to move on from Sarah Marshall and you just want this guy to have hope again and just put his life back in the right track and Mila Kunis also does such a great job with Rachel and it's because of her great performance with Rachel and Jason Siegel's performance with Peter. Peter and Rachel feel like very real and genuine characters. They just come off so natural. Kristen Bell plays a very interesting character. Sarah Marshall is actually a very complex character because there is one side to her that I don't want to really get into details but then there's another side to her and you're like okay are we supposed to feel bad for Sarah? Marshall or not feel bad for her and it just gets really interesting as the movie goes along so I thought Kristen Bell handled her role so well and Russell Brand who does play Sarah Marshall's new boyfriend I thought he did a very good job you could definitely tell and Russell Brand's performance that he was just having a lot of fun in this movie. The soundtrack to this movie is also very beautiful. I feel like it flows so well with a lot of the moments in Forgetting Sir Marshall. Cinematography in Forgetting Sir Marshall is beautiful. You get a lot of beautiful looking shots of when they're in Hawaii, when it's the daytime and the nighttime. It just looks so beautiful to look at. And then the movie, of course, does have a very heartfelt message about moving on and what it's like to just try to move on from from a breakup because I'm pretty sure that's hard honestly when you're in love with someone and then they break up with you or you break up with them and you're just trying to figure out a way to move on from that and the movie I think handled it in a very realistic and mature way to be honest. Honestly for Gangster Marshall to me is more than just a romantic comedy. It's just very genuine. It really does such a great job of fleshing out the characters. There's never a dull moment when it comes to for Gangster Marshall because I'm always so engaged in the tremendous script by Jason Siegel and the amazing direction by Nicholas Stoller as well as the cast bringing their characters to life. I'm always engaged from start to finish with this film. And as far as the flaws I do have with For Game Star Marshall, I'm not kidding you. The flaws I have with this film, they're literally this minimal. The only smidge flaws I have is just that, yeah, they do show Jason Siegel's penis. Like, it's not necessary. Once you see the film, you'll know why, but yeah, you didn't have to see that. That's a smidge flaw. Another one is Jack McBrayer. He actually is in this film and he does do a good job, but... I feel like his subplot could have easily been cut out. I just didn't really see the point of it. Luckily, it's rarely, and I mean it's rarely focused in this film. That's why it's not a huge distraction. Whenever the movie cuts to his plot, I'm just all like, yeah, that could have been cut out. And maybe it does wrap up the ending just a little bit quick, just up by a little bit. But overall, to be honest with you guys, I absolutely loved Forgetting Sarah Marshall. I adored this film so much. I was in love with this film from the beginning to the end. I was just so engaged throughout watching Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It is one of my favorite romantic comedies of all time. It's truly just a wonderful movie to watch and that's why I'm going to give Forgetting Sarah Marshall my highest rating four out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Forgetting Sarah Marshall and what's your favorite movie from Nicholas Stoller? I would also love to give a huge thank you to Adam Haskell for coming here to review Forgetting Sir Marshall. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He has a great channel. So if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!